I am really enjoying our conversation. Would that be too forward if I asked you for your number? You know, Jim, a lot of people want a lot of numbers from me. My bank wants my PIN number, my job wants my social security number, my psychic wants my lucky number, and you, you want my phone number. The first step, the courtship ritual, mutual exchange of phone numbers. You call, we go for drinks, maybe dinner if the vibe is there, you know, three or four dates later, we have some sex, three dates if the vibe is really strong, I don't know what that vibe is, but if it's there, it knocks a date off the mandatory sexual waiting period, and then, you know, over time, we get to know each other, we share some likes and some dislikes, secrets and stories, you play what position on your high school football team? And then, you know, I learned that you're a little right of center, and I'm left of Bernie Sanders, and your mom really likes me, but my mom is distrustful of you, and then over time, we're two years in, and suddenly, I don't have a ring, and I'm like, hey, Jim, I want some commitment, and you're like, uh, hey, Amanda, I need some space, and then we break up, and I can't listen to Marvin Gaye without crying, so you want my number? Fuck you! My mom's dead. Does that change stuff? That's when he had sex with a French bulldog. Things that we like, things that we don't like, you know? Like Martin Beatty. Beatty? I don't actually know. Martin Beatty? Marvin. <laughs> what? Who's that dude? Just pick somebody. Just pick anybody. When you get to the list, pick anybody. Meryl else. Street? Yeah, but whoever. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to take that one again. I must say that your socks on the open market would fetch a fortune.